Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday Evening Update, the place to get all your life extension news and views from around the world and chat with leading advocates and researchers on a weekly basis. Although, in the future, it might be on an every other week basis. We kind of discussed that recently with the show, uh, having a uh, little trouble getting uh, guests every week. But you know what? We do get some pretty top-notch guests throughout the year. You've heard Aubrey de Grey and Terry Grossman. Uh, I could go down an entire list of famous and well-known people that have been on the Sunday Evening Update. And also, we try to have a little fun here on the show with our snake oil update. And if you stick around after the guest is done, usually we talk about a few things afterwards as well. This is also the most environmentally friendly broadcast on Ustream, lit with LED lighting. Yeah, the studio here, LED lighting. Well, let's get on to the uh, guest for tonight uh, is Hugo de Garris. Yes, he's an artificial intelligence researcher and made some quite a few predictions about how the world is going to evolve with artificial intelligence research uh, in the near future uh, and I'm sure many of you uh, will have some questions for him about that. He's made some pretty dramatic predictions, let's put it that way. Uh, so that'll be coming up in about 10 minutes. We'll be calling him in China. He's a professor of artificial intelligence research at Wuhan I don't know if you say that. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Wuhan University in China. So that'll be coming up in just a bit. But first, we're going to get to some news and updates. Like usual, we're going to start out with an update on the Folding at Home team. The Longevity Meme Folding at Home team is the team supported by the Folding at Home prize. And we're doing great. It looks like we're going to hit the top 100 before the end of the year. Thanks everyone for contributing. Although, you know what? About a week ago, we had over 90 active contributors to the Longevity Meme team. But now, as you can see here on the graphic, it's only 83. Uh, I'd like to get that number up a little bit. But we did move up one spot in the last week, up to spot 110, and we're cranking out 225,000 points per day. Boy, that's pretty amazing. I, I mean, we have really come a long way. And I want to remind everyone, about the folding at home prize of course for the third quarter if you're not folding yet you can win extra prizes yes the life extension foundation has put up some gift certificates to increase the top prize the second prize i mean we've got 75 dollar 50 dollar 25 dollar gift certificates all the way down to 12th place a 15 dollar gift certificate in addition to the cash prizes right and we've also added a 13th randomly drawn prize uh, that isn't 13th place, but for anyone who's folding in the third quarter, we are going to randomly draw out of anyone who doesn't finish in the top 12, and they will get the uh, $15 cash prize uh, for 13th place. And everyone who's folding gets a free six-month Life Extension Foundation membership Anyone who's folding on the team, and that's 100 people right now, and I did send out a, a message to all the folders. The catch is that in order to get your free membership to the Life Extension Foundation or the gift certificates, you have to provide your name, address, and email to Life Extension Foundation so they can deliver the magazine to you, so they can mail the gift certificate to you. <coughs> so... That's what we got uh, going on with the Life Extension Foundation and the Folding at Home Prize. Keep up the good work. Great job, everyone on the team. How about the Convergence Conference? I signed up. I'm going to be there. I've got my plane ticket bought. And I just wanted to mention, uh, we still have a couple of weeks here to register for the Convergence 08 Conference. And this is going to be one heck of a conference. Where else do you get to mingle with top name researchers in many different fields of science. Here, there's a synthetic biology debate with J. Christopher Anderson, Denise Caruso, Gregory Benford, and Andrew Hessel, uh, and also a couple other debate panels. This is an unconference, so there will be a lot of neat stuff going on, but these are official debates that will be going on. And look at this, artificial intelligence. For those, uh, you know, perhaps tuning in today for the interview with Hugo de Garris, you know, here, if you're at the Convergence 08 conference, you can uh, listen to Ben Gertzel, Peter Norvig, Barty Pell, among others, uh, debate 
uh, artificial intelligence and where we're headed. And there's also, of course, the life extension, the longevity intervention debate in this one. You know, Bruce Ames, he's a fun guy to listen to. He, he really has humorous uh, presentations, uh, even though he talks about a serious subject, you know, combating aging. But, oh, of course, Aubrey the Gray, Terry Grossman, Chris Heward, these people are tops. Their names are the biggest in longevity in intervention uh, in the world today. So, hey, you don't want to miss that. And you know what? If you go to the front page of the Immortality Institute and you see this front page feature article, click on that and you will find in there a special rate for Immortality Institute members and registered users. Yeah, $50 off. Uh, for anyone who uh, goes and registers through the Immortality Institute website here, uh, you click on the link, the special rate link, and uh, you can get $50 off the registration, which is a fabulous deal. So uh, you still got a couple weeks to sign up. If you can't make it out there, uh, well, that's unfortunate, but uh, you should really consider it. Okay, another update on uh, what other stuff we got going on around the Immortality Oh, the first immortal. He's alive. That's the good news. But unfortunately, uh, you know, he's the member with cancer and he's been battling it for a while. Uh, unfortunately, apparently his tumor has grown a little bit and he's having trouble eating and now he's going to go through intravenous treatment. But anyway, on the first immortal, uh, you know, we've got a, a great group of people working at the Immortality Institute on uh, cancer protocols and trying to help him out. Uh, and uh, this is something, uh, this group effort, something that could turn into something very valuable, not only for Immens members, obviously, but for society as a whole. If we can beat that, uh, the first immortal's cancer, uh, I think, uh, you know, that will be a sign that, yes, uh, the Immortality Institute knows what it's talking about and uh, can really reach out and help people. Uh, so, he still needs help, uh, and eventually he may need uh, some more donations for supplements and other uh, uh, other things that he might need to, you know, if he's going to be feeding himself intravenously, getting nutrients intravenously. You know, it's a tough situation, but he's hanging in there. You can check out all the forums on how to help out uh, the first immortal at the Immortality Institute. Well, something else, some hot news that developed this week is something that Ethan posted. Hey, thanks for posting this article, Ethan, uh, about, uh, you know, something that sends is has is focused on breaking down you know protein aggregates and um, AGEs in the body and amyloid beta which is implicated in Alzheimer's disease and here's a uh, article that just came out this week about using an enzyme that is present in uh, I believe the human body that does break down amyloid beta plaques in the brain but it usually is impaired a bit by another proteus inhibitor uh, called uh, what is it Cis-C, uh, but this enzyme cat B uh, apparently can be unleashed by blocking uh, Cis-C, uh, and they hope to use this to use this very, I, I mean, it's an enzyme that's present, that's non-toxic, that can break down amyloid beta, and it's uh, pretty interesting news. You can find it linked on the Immortality Institute front page. I can't get into all the details of it right here on the show, but it's another interesting and positive sign about the future uh, of you know SENS research but also Alzheimer's research so good to see that good to see all that uh, research nowadays but something that's not great to see is all the snake oil that's out here and of course you know here on the Sunday evening update we have the snake oil segment every week and we've covered a lot of interesting things let's say some of them you know, hey, maybe you know, they might have an effect, an anti-aging effect or health, uh, ben you know, they might benefit your health somewhat, but some of them do seem to be uh, rather uh, controversial or perhaps a waste of money that don't seem to have any effect on human health. And for this week's snake oil update, we're gonna go in the way back machine here uh, a few years and talk about a product that some of you may have heard, Q-Ray. If you ever watch the what do you call them, the infomercials late at night. This was a big one five years ago, I don't know, 10 years ago. The Q-Ray bracelet. And at one point, uh, this company that produces the Q-Ray claimed all kinds of health benefits. You can get this standard silver plated one or you can get, well yeah, 